Hello and welcome back to Unfair Players. I can see we got some conversations to do. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Alnar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid. Just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your council has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. <laughs> don't get don't get obity, Hierarch. <laughs> Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. Psionics. Kassar de Templari. High Templar. Drains energy from the enemy units. Uh, psionics dominates the larger radius and restores shields to friendly units. Energy. Permanently takes control of enemy units. Forces enemy units to attack each other. Attacks ground and air units. Holy shit, yes, please! I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan. It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. And then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala, and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. Hell yeah! Fuck Amon! Let's fucking make- push, just kick him out! You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderine speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the archive? My death. My rebirth as a dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix. Yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Okay, so he figured it out. Well, I guess that... That, that that would have been a weird thing to have hanging over his head for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh well. I'm not even sure how far in the game we are. Two little Josh. Hmm. Well. Let's see. Orbital simulator. I still want that, so. Warping reinforcements. Deploy pylon is still so good though. Solar lands. Orbital strike. Orbital assimilator. There we go. Shield over charge. Increase strength of energy. All friendly units and structures that absorb up to 200 damage. Nah. And then. There we go. Oops. 
Why do I keep clicking that? seeing you. <laughs> uh, I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. Holy shit, did they just outbitch each other? <laughs> Let's see how who can who can be the bigger badass bitch here. I'm better than others. Got an achievement for that. I guess I talked to everyone. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergloods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the Purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Tal'Darim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base, where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. Okay, so we got a lot of shit to do. Okay. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. Now, we must eliminate Amon's armies. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Let's do it! I want the Void Rays. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, 
Usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. <laughs> like, he's like, You cannot just ask me to depose him when deposing him requires to, to not depose him when we depose him. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Well, I guess that's <laughs> getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit, uh, puffed up. Work. My scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. Okay. Welcome, Hierarch. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Hmm. Well, I'm to actually do stuff after all this talk. There's a lot of talk in this episode, I'm sorry, like, because th there's just a lot of dialogue, and I'm not sure what to say during that, because, like, okay, well, the plot is just going forward, and I'm actually enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it, because, like, I hope some of you are experiencing it at the same time and getting something out of it, because I, I am definitely enjoying this. Um... Honestly, I'm glad that, that the, the, the episode length kind of fluxes a little bit in this series, because a lot of the time, like, cutscenes will show up that are, like, seven minutes long, and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I can't cut the video in the middle of, 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 of a thing, and I, I feel like stopping in the middle of a mission, I've done it once or twice during the Heart of the Swarm campaign, but I feel like it, it just feels wrong to do so in, in an RTS. It feels wrong to stop in the middle of a campaign mission in an RTS for some reason. Uh, 
these are Malash's daughters. So I hope, like, I hope I you guys you think I've been cutting out scene. enough flux, but not flop, fluff, fluff, but not too much fluff. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? <laughs> Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine flows. That sounds like such a... The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Okay. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faith Smith. We will make good use of them. Let's see if we can, like... Set up some defenses. Uh, good thing we have the extractors already set up, so we can just, like, have that set up again. Going. What is this? 150 maybe? I don't remember. You have not enough yeah, it's 150. Ah, oh, well. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Okay. So we'll want like. Subsides in a minute fifty. Okay. You have not enough minerals. We meet the enemy in battle. At least they're only coming from one side right now. You have not enough minerals. Just to put this here. Gonna need to build some more, uh, some more probe. Do they heal? Oh yeah, they're fucking they're, they're those things. Command me. They really have a lot of, of different types of units, huh? Okay, you. I'm gonna need you to. Uh, Minerals. The guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. <laughs> My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Cylon. And enough charges. Ah, oh, well. This warrior awakens. Oh, yeah. We need, like... Why... Why does... Do they only give me one gateway? Why do they always start me off with only one gateway? Hierarch. I was able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. <laughs> liberated. Yes. That is what we shall do. We shall liberate them. <laughs> I, I like I like him a lot like I did not expect like because the the view I had of the protars was just like these elven guys like these high oh wow we're only talking about mystical and we understand so much about the world and, and such um, and I don't know I did not expect them to also have like more uh, down-to-earth characters or more comedic characters so, so I, I'm really positively uh, surprised, as I as as I mentioned during, um, as I've probably mentioned a couple times right now. I definitely mentioned it during um, uh, Wings of Liberty quite a lot of times. Um, I am not. I I have not played the original um, StarCraft. So, so I, I don't know, like, I, I, I don't have the same, um, context that uh, I, I think people who have played the entire series has, um, that being said, I, I do feel that this game uh, explains so much this that you don't really need to have played the original game, um, at least to enjoy it, I am definitely enjoying it. Yes, I wonder, like, I wonder just, I, I will probably also mention this, but, but I wonder just how, um, fans of the original Starcraft feels about, like, lore-wise, the changes, because definitely, like, I mean, I think everybody can agree that, um, there's been a lot of improvements to the gameplay, uh, over the years, like, you can definitely tell, uh, that, that Blizzard has taken what they were doing um, for making uh, Warcraft 3. And, uh, and, 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 like, and, and put that into StarCraft 2. Um, and I guess that's why they only really uh, make RTSs for one game at a time, one franchise at a time. Uh, two franchises are so similar that uh, they, they would be competing with themselves if they made both the StarCraft 3 and a Warcraft 4 at the same time. So I'm guessing now that they've done the fog gathers our make your preparations if you are so Now that they've done Warcraft uh, StarCraft 2 and they're seemingly done with doing the expansion pack for World of Warcraft, uh, I do wonder if If they, uh, if the next Warcraft 4 just seems like the next logical step. Once they, they think, okay, Starcraft has kind of, I don't want to say subsided, but like it, it run its course maybe. Uh, the expansion pack is what, this expansion pack is the latest, the last expansion pack planned for Starcraft 2, and it's what, two years old? <laughs> Uh, two, yeah, I think I think Legacy of the Void is two years old. I'm not sure. I think it's from 2015. So it it, it, it to me at least it would make sense that. That the next one would be a Warcraft game, but I don't know. I don't know if they've just decided okay, well Warcraft is so profitable and has become so intertwined with how people see the franchise that. Um, which is going to only do uh, World of Warcraft for that franchise now. And the next Warcraft thing will be 
two, I guess. Because um, they did half stone, which I guess uses uses the Warcraft IP, but. I don't know. I, I'm just assuming the, the, the shit here. I love the numbers of Warcraft RTS, obviously. Like I am, I am mostly a Warcraft guy. Um, so I, I love more Warcraft. That would be my, my dream. Um, that would be my choice. If you, like, as much as I like this game, like, if you, if you were to ask me, like, if you had to pick between Starcraft Three and and Warcraft Four, uh, I, I would probably. Um, thankfully, it doesn't seem like it'll ever come to that. I think, yes. I think Blizzard uh, considers both franchises important enough Where that they'll keep making them, making more games. Um, Yeah, Austin, like, it's fun enough, I guess, but, but like, it's just not what I'm looking for when I play a Warcraft game. <laughs> Obviously, it's, the Tarazine fumes are gone. It's, it's not a Warcraft Continue game, or it's, it is a Warcraft game, but it's not like it's, it's not an RTS. It's it's a card game. There. Okay, let's see. Oh, we already had a forge? Why did I build another forge? I'm sorry, I wasted it. It's a robotics facility I wanted. Taldarim ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down! Some of this stuff. You have not enough minerals. I have met the enemy. It is a good day to die. Pylons up so we don't get uh, what's it called? Uh, resource blocked or something. Now we can make some blood hunters. That's good, we want blood hunters. You have not enough mid it is a good day to die. It is a good day to die. I seek the unworthy. A tomb for it us. Ah, at last. So they're suicidal? I thought you'd see it my way. I shall be swift. Eyes to the horizon. Jokar. The sky is my battlefield. I thought you'd see it my way. It is a good day to die. Ah, at last. Let us attack. Upgrade complete. Really like the color scheme, the black and red color scheme. 
Though it's so so it's so cliche evil, but it's still so awesome. It's a good look. It's a good look. I think that's one of the reasons I always liked um It is a good day to die. One of the reasons I always liked the evil people in, in video games and movies is because like I I I'm a big fan of red and black. It's this is thing for me. Approach the void. Ready your warriors. Oh god. Um I have to I have to, I have to stop for a second. My cat just threw up on the floor just a second. Okay, thankfully it was just a hairball. But I, I really thought he was getting sick there. Um Mineral shots. Watsun's Horridas. Ah, at last. Speak your Is demands. It, can you go around? Protocols aligned. <laughs> I can't get around. Oh, well. Let's see. Hey, guys. Let's see, uh, we need, I guess we just need some more sentinels. Robotics facility. I hope they can get around there. You have not I guess minerals. we'll find out. Otherwise, we'll have to destroy some of Come on, dude. 150. Come on. Thank you. Okay, they can build those and still. Okay, good. Okay, good. I was a little bit worn, uh, worried there that they might not be able to. You have not enough but, yeah. Okay. Do not fear death. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Oh, uh, this is probably not a good idea. Let's go back. You're gonna go back and, and harvest some minerals. <laughs> um.
destroy their ship. Are we just destroying bases? Is that what we're doing this mission? I guess we'll just make some guys then. I you have not enough minerals. minerals. Uh, we need some, you some boys to harvest more minerals, I guess. Your power is greater than we believed, firstborn. Such a douchebag! I kinda love it! <laughs> well, I don't need to join you! I have you to do it! I don't have to do anything! Oh, by the way, I want all the power and I'm gonna help you afterwards, okay? Have fun! <laughs> He said he said he would remove them from the fight. In other words, he has no intention of actually helping us. I, I, I completely realize that. He has none, no intention of actually helping us. Oh, do you sense it, Tarazim? A shame you have no time to enjoy it with Amon's forces coming after you. Shut the fuck up, dude! <laughs> He's so... He's so mean! <laughs> this is like... Oh, do you smell that? That's the sound of your fucking death! Our pylon is under attack! Well, I don't really need this base. I don't need this base! This fun is not my Should I warm in the voice? This warrior awakens. We can warp it. No problem. It is a good day to die. My blade yearns to meet our foe. It is a good day to die. That was that was expendable. That was completely expendable. Yeah. Who knew? I'll <laughs> will teach them. Base is under attack. I wasted boys. I should have warped in boys over here instead. Live and learn. It is a good day to die. Cassandra, we face the enemy. We do face the enemy. We meet the enemy in battle. Boys over there. Look at that. Okay, need some. You, you have not enough minerals. I guess we'll just send some boys over there. Uh, you add have some not more minerals. things. I guess I need some more pylons now. Kind of wasted my pylons. Nah. Amon's forces are gone. Now 
Now's your chance to attack the Guardians. Now's your chance to, atta to attack the Guardians. They're coming to take you away, haha. -ha. Hello, I am Alarak. I come from Sweden. Now, well, considering we're the blue and yellow ones, we come from Sweden. For I, yeah. Let's go take the care of the things, yes? Let's destroy the warp gate. You must destroy additional Pokemons. You must destroy it. I am so good at English. Okay. Get away. Okay! Suddenly, boys! I have met the enemy, you say. Cool. Um, say hi and tell them to stop attacking our base! <laughs> Fuck off, dude! They're starting to be a little bit prickly here. Okay. Running out of minerals here. Not good. Fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. Okay. You have not enough minerals. I'm running out of minerals. You have not enough minerals. I shall relish this battle. Glory to the Daylock. Actually, come back. <laughs> I only need one of you. Let's see if we can re establish that thing. Also, you guys, start moving. Do on. not fear death, fear Amon. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Let us attack. We face the enemy. Kill it. That's... 
Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. There we go. Okay. You Clutch. To your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you. I have heard enough of his lies. The ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. What? Now the time has come. High Lord, hear me. I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your chariot. Hell yeah! Do we get to good? Do we get to see that? Steps of the right. Yeah. Okay. I want to see Alarak in in full motion. Do that. I want to see that. Please be a cinematic. Come on. Like the fight between Seratul and uh, Atanis. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. Alarag is awesome! <laughs> A new okay. faction has joined our forces in the War Council. Okay. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Iron Place. That was a long episode, but, um... You know. That's a hot mission. Until next time. Bye! <laughs>